beautiful people welcome back to another tutorial hope you're doing good and hope you're staying safe my name is Cynthia if you're here for the first time you're highly welcome so in this video we're going to be making a blouse this is what we're going to be making today as you can see the white is a different blouse why the African print is a different blouse entirely just that you want both of them together we'll be making the African print with the peplum at the bottom of the blouse I'm going to be changing some things here I'm going to make the off shoulder from the off shoulder to under bust line and then I'll put a waistband here before attaching the peplum to it. So just little different. So for this tutorial I'll be using this African print. I'll be adding lining and the middle weight interface into it. This will be for the peplum and the upper part. At the moment I don't know how many years I'm going to be using but I will let you guys know at the end of the video. So before we start, I will make a drafting in my pattern paper because uh, I think most of you will not see the marking. So I will use a, a pattern, I will draft it on the pattern then transfer it to my fabric. So this is my pattern, as you can see I have marked out some line here. Yeah? I will explain everything to you guys. I will minus 5 inches for the off shoulder. I will place my tape with like so. From here to here is the chest line. It's 9 inches, I added half inch for sewing allowance, that is 9.5 inches. Then from shoulder to bust is 10 inches plus half inch sewing allowance that is 10 and half inches. This is the 10 and half inches for bust measurement. From shoulder to under bust is 14 inches. I added half inch for sewing allowance that is 14 and half inches. From shoulder to waist is 17 inches plus half inch sewing allowance that is 17 and half inches. Then I added um, another extra half inch for joining it at the bottom here. So for me, I'm going to be cutting it here. I will measure from here to under post measurement i will cut it out then use this for the waistband this line here is the bust palm the bust palm is eight inches divided by two is four inches plus half inch sewing allowance that is four and a half inches so i marked the line right from the shoulder to the waistline so we'll go ahead and uh, place the measurement so i will go to the upper part right on this line i will take one inch on this side and take one inch on this side then I will mark one inch above the bust line that is this one inch so I will mark one inch below the bust line I mark one inch above the bust line and one inch below the bust line so I'm going to connect this one inch to meet this one inch above the bust line So I will connect this side also. So that's it for the upper part. I will go to the under bust line. I will mark one and a half inches on this side and mark one and a half inches on this side. So I will connect this one and a half inches to this one inch below the bust line. I will do the same thing to this side. So I will make sure I curve this place. So what I'm going to do next is to place the circumference measurement. Like I said, I will not be needing this. I will use this to cut out the band. I'm just placing it up to this place. Cut this out for the waistband. I will now place the circumference measurement. My bust measurement is 41 inches divided by 4 is 10 and a half inches and I'll be adding 2 inches for sewing allowance that is 12 and a half inches so I'll place it here on the chest line so this is 12 and a half inches so I will come to this place I will still add this one remember we're going to be cutting out this little one out here check what I have here I have roughly half inch here then I'll add this half inch back because I'm going to be cutting it out. Then I'll mark my half inch. Then I'll go to the under bust measurement. The under bust measurement is 36 inches. Divided by 4 is 9 inches. And this is 9 inches. So remember I marked out uh, 3 inches here. 1 and half inches on this side and 1 and half inches on this side. So because I'm cutting this out, I'm going to be placing the 3 inches back. So here I will mark my 3 inches back. 
and now we add two inches for sewing allowance. So I'll go ahead and connect the lines together. So I will connect it now from the chest line to under bust measurement. Then I will go to this upper part again. So I will go to this side and measure my chest line here. What I have here is 12 inches. I'll be placing that 12 inches here. So I will divide the 12 inches by 2. 12 divided by 2 is 6 inches plus half inch for sewing allowance. That is 6 and half inches. I'll mark 6 and half inches here. Remember we marked out 2 inches here. We're going to be placing it back because we're cutting this out. So this is the 6 and half inches plus 2 inches. That is 8 and half inches. So I'll mark my 8 and half inches here. From this place, I will connect it to this place. This is my armhole. That's the chest line. Because my armhole is 9 inches. I'll still place my tape like this, minus the 5 inches. Then this is 9 inches. I added half inch for sewing allowance. That is 9 and half inches. So I will connect this also to this place. Let's make a little curve here. And we come down 2 inches for the neckline. Minus 5 inches already. I'll mark 2 inches for the neckline. That's for the front neckline. So we connect it right from here, make it like a sweetheart neck. So that's it for the front panel. I'll go ahead and cut it out. I'm cutting out my shoulder to underbust measurement. So I will still cut out this. This is for the waistband. So this is the front one. Now we transfer this to the fabric. I will set this aside and there will be cutting out the back side. So I'll go to the back side and place the measurement. These two inches is for zipper allowance. So I will place my table like so. Still minus the five inches. This is the chest measurement, the chest line. This is the bust measurement. So I added this under bust uh, measurement at the back side because I'm going to be cutting it here. So from shoulder to under bust is 14 inches plus half inch sewing allowance. That is 14 and half inches. Then I'll use this half inch to join it to the band. That is 15 inches. This line right here is the bust span. That is four and a half inches. So I will go to the under bust line. I will mark half inch on this side. And mark half inch on this side. I'm only adding that to the back side. I will connect it right from the chest line. I will connect it here right from the chest line to this half inch. That's the that measurement. So I'm still going to add six and a half inches for the neckline. I added six and a half inches for the front neckline. I'll do the same thing to the back neckline. So this is six and a half inches. And this zipper allowance is not included. So I'll mark six and a half inches here for the neckline, both sewing allowance. And uh, this is my armhole. I will place the circumference measurement. The quarter of my bust measurement is ten and a half inches. Plus 2 inches sewing allowance. That is 12 and a half inches. So right on the chest line I will mark 12 and a half inches. And I will go to the under bust line and place the quarter of the under bust measurement. 9 inches is the under bust measurement. So I added this 1 inch to it. That is 10 inches plus 2 inches sewing allowance is 12 inches. So I mark my 12 inches here. I'll connect it right from the chest line to under bust measurement. And this is the armhole. So I will connect my armhole. You can make any neckline you want to make. You can make a V neckline for the back. It depends on what you want. I will come down just one inch for the back neckline.
so this is the back one i will go ahead and transfer the pattern to my fabric so i will lay my fabric on the table and lay my pattern against the fabric like so so i will cut it out So I'll do the same thing to the front panel and cut out the lining also. So I want this flower side to be at the upper part. So I'll fold my fabric into two and lay this against it. So I'll cut this out, use it to cut out the lining and the interfacing. I'll finish transferring the pattern to the fabric. This is the back side. This is the front and the, this is the waistband. So I'm going to set this aside. We'll be cutting out the pear plump. For the pear plump, I will cut it like a circle, then make a, a ball split. I'll be making about eight splits. So we're going to be doing some calculation here to cut out the pear plump. The waist is 36 inches. So I will divide 36 by eight. 36 divided by eight is 4.5 so this 4.5 is the wideness of my pleat I'm cutting out times 3 of the waist measurement that is a 36 times 3 is 108 so this is what I'm going to be cutting out that will be the fabric I'll be cutting out for the waistline and then um, I'm not going to be cutting these ones I will divide it into two because I would cut it two times. So I would divide this 108 divided by 2 is 54. This is the waist measurement I'm going to be cutting out. I will cut out 54 into 2. Or let's say it's for front and back. 54 for front and 54 for the back side. So this 54, I will divide it by 54 divided by 6.28. It's 8.5. 8.5 and I will round it to 8.6 because I'll be adding um, allowance to it, zipper allowance. This 6.6 will be the radius. So for some of you asking me where did I get this 6.28, 6.28 is the formula we use for full circle. So I'm cutting out two full circle because I divided this 108 by 2 which gives me 54. Then this 54 I will divide it by 6.28. 54 divided by 6.28 is 8.5. Then I round it to 8.6 because I'll be adding strain allowance to it. So that is my radius. The length of my pear plump is 8.5 plus strain allowance. So I'll go ahead and fold my fabric into two. So I will cut out the two at the same time. This is my fabric. I will fold it into two. And I'll fold it again. Now it's folded into four. I'll do the same thing together side. I'm cutting out both of them together. Remember, we are cutting out two to achieve that 108 for the waistline. My radius is 8.6. So from here, I will mark 8.6 round. This is 8.6. I'll take it round. So I'll connect the lines together. So this is my 8.6. So right from this 8.6, I'll take the length of the peplum, which is 8.5 inches. I'll make it nice up to 9 inches. So I'll take it round or so. This is my 8.5 inches. First I will cut out this. So I will go ahead and cut the damp part. That's the length. So we've cut out everything. 
what we are going to do is to join the fabric together so I'm going to use this to cut out the interfacing and the lining I will cut out into lining and two interfacing also we go ahead and put the whole fabric together so we start with the upper part so we just place them together so I cut out interfacing also I will use my pressing iron to iron into the fabric so I cut the interfacing the same way I cut out the fabric just that I came down one inch I'll do the same thing to this side and the, this side so after gluing it to it I will go ahead and then join the fabric together I will join this together this side together and join this side together I will do the same thing to the lining so we are sewing the lining and the fabric separately so we join the lining here join it here then for the back side so this is the back side I will turn my fabric to the right side and turn the lining to the right side. So right side facing each other. So I will sew the neckline, sew it here, here, sew here. I will leave two inches on sew. That is where I will turn my fabric out. I will do the same thing to this side. I finish joining them together. I will notch it around. And I've also joined the back side. So I will turn it right from here. I left about two inches on so so I will turn it right from here. I will stitch this place up and add my that here so I'm taking my that so this is the back side this is the that and then for the front part I will take the lining so I will lay the lining against the fabric make sure the right side they are facing each other so I will lay this against it and then sew them together I cut out about 10 inches strip I added 1 inch to it that is 11 inches 1 inch is for sewing allowance and the wideness is 3 inches I just folded it inside so I will add this here about one inch or one and a half inches away from the armhole. I'll pin them together. I will do the same thing to this side. I cut out two strips. One is for this side and one is for this side. So I will sew it round and leave here and leave about three inches on so that is where I will turn it out from the waistband remember I also transfer the pattern to the fabric that's the waistband so you can cut out two to make it a little bit thick or you add interfacing to it but I'm not adding interfacing to it I just cut out two then I will sew them together I will attach the waistband to the waistline I will sew it here I will do the same thing to this side I will make sure the right side of the waistband is facing the right side of the top. So I'll finish sewing it. I will notch it around before turning it. I'll turn it right from here. You can make a top stitch round. I will press it. I don't think I'll be needing that. So I will take the waistband 
Now make sure the right side are facing each other. So I will sew it to the waistline. After I've done that, I will take the damp part. I will join the peplum to the lining. Remember we cut out two peplum, two lining in the two interfacing. First I will lay the lining on the table. I will open up the fabric. So make sure the right side of the lining and the right side of the fabric are facing each other. Now we add the interfacing. This is the wrong side of the peplum. This side is the shiny side of the interfacing. So I will lay this shiny side against the fabric. I will use my pressing iron to press it to the fabric. So after I've done that, I will sew here round. Then sew the edges round. So I will do the same thing to the other side. But after sewing it, I will cut it and turn it out from here. Then we join both of them together. So I'll finish attaching the waistband to the upper part and I've attached the strip to the top. So I will go ahead and then join them together. These are the two back pieces. So we'll be joining both sides together. So I'll make sure the right side are facing each other. So I will take my exact bust measurement, which is 21 inches, it's 42 inches divided by 2 is 21 inches. Not 21 inches here. Yeah? Then I'll go to the waistline. This is the under bust measurement. The under bust and the, the waistline are basically the same thing. So 36 divided by 2 is 18 inches. So I'll mark my 18 inches here. Yeah. I'll take it to the to the waistline. Do the same thing to this side. So I will sew this side and sew this side. Before I will sew them together, I will add this here. I cut out one and a half inch strip. Then I'll be adding it here. I'll be adding it here. This is the mid part of the front panel. I'll be adding a yellow button to it here. I'll use a hand needle to attach my button to it. You can use any color of a button you want to use. I wanted to use white, but I don't have white at home. So I'm making use of what I have. So after sewing this, then I will join the both sides together. I've also sewn the peplum. I've joined the lining and the peplum together. So I'll make a cut here. I will turn it out right from here. So make sure you notch the edges round before turning it. I use a pressing iron to press it. I will do the same thing to the other side. But after I've done that, I will join them together. This is the other side. So I've pressed this already. I will join both of them together here. I'm joining just one side and this side, other side is still open. So I've finished joining of the upper part together. And I've also joined the peplum together. So I will set this aside. What we're going to do next is to make the boss plate. I needed about eight boss plates and I divided the waist measurement by eight. Um, 36 divided by eight gave me four and a half inches. I'll be using four and a half inches for the wideness of the, the plate. So I'll mark 4.5 round the waist. So I will take my two inches for zipper allowance first. So this is for zipper allowance. So right from here, I mark four and a half inches. I will just mark four and a half inches round the waistline. So 
so these two inches here on this side is my zipper allowance also so we'll go ahead and pleat it this is my zipper allowance from here to here is four and a half inches so i will take this one here and bring it to this one and i will take this and take it to meet this four and a half inches then i will take this one to meet this and take this to meet this four and a half inches so that's how i will do it round so i'll do it like this round the waist line so so I'll go ahead and count it to see if it's up to eight one two three four five six seven eight yeah exactly eight eight and this one is sewing allowance and this one is sewing allowance I will sew it around the waistline so I will pin this one to the other side this is one inch away from the arm code then I will take the upper part make sure the right side are facing each other I will attach the down part to the upper part at the waistline here join them together and sew it around so I finish attaching the upper part to the down part So what we are going to do next is to attach the zip to the top. My zip is up to here. I will sew the remaining part and uh, attach my zip here. I will attach this on this side, take the zipper allowance and attach this on the other side. So guys, I finished attaching the zip. That's it for today. Thank you so much guys for watching. If you like my tutorial, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I will see you guys in my next one. I love you all. Stay safe guys. Bye.